Hey everyone, it's Danny with Danny'sCards.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable card a toast to your birthday. Uh, and it's really quite easy. And this is what the final product looks like. So it's a little, I use the, the shimmer right there. So you see that one. And then I also have, I did it with a, a black cardstock. Um, and this is to make a card from scratch using your Cricut Joy. And that's not necessarily the most easy thing. So I'm going to show you how to make this card from beginning to end as if it took no effort. And that whole effort takes maybe just a couple minutes. So let's start. We're going to start with a brand new project. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start looking for images. And the first image you want to look for is your cut image. Now, all these different options come up. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to make a card that will fit inside of your Cricut insert card mat. But if you click this, it's not going to work. So these are very misleading. Instead, you want to continue to scroll down and look for these different cuts. So this is my favorite, this little squiggly. And what we have is a cut that measures four inches by 5.25 inches. Right. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to search for some more images. And to make this little toast card, we're going to search for toast. And there's a whole bunch of different ones here, but I really like this guy. He's super excited for life. And I'm just going to shrink him down to size. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do once I have my little toast guy is I'm going to think about what I want with my card. Now, if you cut out the entire toast, then you won't be able to see the eyes. Right. So I'm looking for just the eyes and his limbs to be cut out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this cut into a draw. And I don't love that black, but I do love this tawny kind of color. And there you go. Now, this alone isn't much of a card, so we need to insert some text. So the first thing I'm going to type in is post. What I'm looking for is a different font, and I want to use a writing font. Now, you can always think about using a cut font, right? But the writing fonts tend to be a little bit more easy to work with, all right? And I'm a big fan of the Be Free text, right? It's just kind of excited for life. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to shrink that down, right? A toast. And then I copied the text and I'm going to write to your birthday. All right. I'm going to align the text so it's centered. And right now, this obviously is too big, but even when I shrink it down, what I don't love is how far that line space is. So I'm going to try. Got a negative four in line space, and that brings it just something that looks a little bit more even. And now I'm going to drag this right underneath him. Looking at my toast guy, going to shrink him down just a hair, because what I don't see how the Y comes underneath the cut, that will play a big part. You want to make sure you don't do that. All right, so a toast to your birthday. And your card, in essence, at this point, is nearly complete. You could, again, make little adjustments just so that way it looks just the way you want. And because I'm sort of a perfectionist, we want to make sure we center horizontally. And we're done. Now, if you want to give just a couple little extra flourishes, you can choose to maybe add a little balloon to your little toast guy, right? It's a toast to your birthday, so we want something fun for his birthday. Um, I actually really like this. That's nice and simple. And I'm going to shrink that down. And I'm going to have it so he's holding a little balloon. But I always find 
cards, the cards that are most interesting with the Cricut Joy are the ones that are a mixture between things that cut and things that draw. So even though his arm is cut off, I want the balloon cut out, but not necessarily the string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that string into a draw. And the last thing that we're going to add is we're going to add a little confetti. Now there's all sorts of different confettis. Uh, I've used these two in the past. Um, I like this one. This is fantastic, right? The three little pieces of confetti. Even at this smaller size, it's a bit cumbersome to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice it so that way we can use multiple pieces of it. So what I'm going to do is just get it to the point where we can slice half the image. So what I did was I inserted a square and then brushed it up against the parts that I wanted to slice. And I'm going to insert a little squiggly line. I want to use that one, but I'm going to flip it. And let's move it a little horizontal. Let's shrink that down. And then I want to use just this little bit of cut, this little bit of extra. And if I want to add more confetti, I can always just cut and paste that, flip it however I want, give it a flip horizontal, give it a flip vertical, right? Feel free. Oh, we're at the same spot we were before. There we go. Now, before we hit cut, we want to make sure we color sync everything we have, all right? So we want to make sure that when it's cutting, it's not thinking this is all multiple layers. This all needs to be on the same layer. So all you need to do is go from layers to color sync and drag each piece up. Once that's all complete, you're going to highlight the whole thing and attach it. And now you're ready to make your card. So once you hit make it, there's just two more steps you need to do. You need to make sure you go to on card net because we're doing this on our Cricut Joy. And then we want to adjust this to four and a quarter and five and a half inches. Once you're there, you're going to hit continue and make it and boom. You've made your first Cricut Joy card from beginning to end. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to log on to dannyscards.com and ask any questions that you see fit. Thanks for watching.